Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install Dicey UI in React with Feed. Let's go to Dicey UI official website. Here is Dicey UI official website, diceyui.com. Click on how to use it. And then scroll down and you will see React over here. Click on it. In order to install Dicey UI for React, you need three steps. The first one, create a new React project. The second one, install Tailwind CSS. And the third one, install Dicey UI. Because we are going to do it from scratch, I'm going to teach you step by step. Let's get started with create a React new project. So you can go to v.dev to see how React project is created by using v. Click on get started over here. And you can use this command npm create v at latest to create uh, a React application. And then you can specify uh, what type of project you want to create on template over here. Okay, let's get started. Right click and open new terminal. I'm going to use command prompt instead of PowerShell. I can close PowerShell over here. Then I'm going to desktop because I want to create a project on desktop. Hit enter. And then I run this command npm create feed at latest. Make sure that you install Node.js on your computer, okay? And then you just name the project my dicey UI. And then you just specify what type of projects do you want. In this case, we are going to use React. So I put dash 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 template React and I hit enter. It's going to ask me I want to proceed. Yes. And then you will see the folder over here, my Dicey UI. You can open this with Visual Studio Code. You can go into the folder, my Dicey UI and then type code dot to open it with Visual Studio Code. And you can open the new terminal over here. Uh, because we are going to use command prompt, we can open command prompt over here. Over here, it has some command that it suggests you to run. npm install, npm run dev. You can put npm install. It's going to create node underscore modules over here. And then you can run npm run dev. And you can press control to click on this link. See, you create React application successfully. The next step, you have to install Tailwind. In order to understand clearly about how to install Tailwind CSS in React, you can go to Tailwind CSS website, tailwindcss.com. And then you can click on Get Started. And over here is how to install Tailwind CSS in Feed. Okay, you can just copy this command line and go to the source code over here and click open the new command line and then new command prompt i'm going to remove this one paste the command over here okay we have installed tailwind the next step we have to add tailwind to the configuration files copy this line of code and then go to v.config.js and put this over here and the next code you just put the tailwind plug in in the define config over here in plugin, you just put comma and put tailwind CSS bracket. Okay, and the next step, what are we going to do? You have to import it to the main CSS files. So in source over here, so main files is over here, and index the CSS is here. I'm going to copy this code and then I'm going to remove everything from here and just paste uh, the import over here. Okay, what else? And then we have to run npm run dev because we already run npm run dev over here. We don't have to worry about the command over there. So next we just uh, see if it's really work with our application. We can try this code. So in main, we already include like index the CSS right in app over here for now we don't really need app the CSS that come with the template okay and this one we can clear everything and leave its only fragment over here and we don't need state because we don't need logo and use state as well 
we don't even need app the CSS. Okay, over here, let me try uh, this code over here. Okay. And let me format the document. Okay, and let's see if this works. Let's go back to the application over here. See, it's hello world and underscore. Now we have completely set up Tailwind in the application. The next step, we are going to install Dicey UI. Let's go to Dicey UI over here. We have to run this command. Okay, over here, npm install Dicey UI at latest. Hit enter. Okay, and the next step over here, you have to import it to the app series. Okay, import the plugin, copy this one, and index.appcss under here, just paste this over here. Okay, and the next step, how to use the first element or the first component. Let's go to component and button over here. Okay, let's see JSX over here. Let's try this code if it's work out. This button. Okay, let's paste it over here in app. Let's paste those button over here. Let's create a div over here, and then over here and format it. Okay, let's see in the application. See the button is working right now. And what else we can do? How about uh, the button color? We can put just copy this one and paste it over here. Let's try if it's work. I'm going to remove these buttons and put this over here. Let me format document and save and let's go here. See, everything is working. Okay, let's share your idea. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe.